that Freud went up to him at the basketball game and went to his room and talked to him afterwards? What did you think of that whole sequence? Or do you think that's probably the reason why things got where they are now? No, I think that Floyd, when the Clipper game, the fucking people were all over him. Yeah. I think he got embarrassed enough to go to that game because he knew Manny was going to be there and he had a chance to confront Manny. Wow. I think it was all planned. It was a good thing. To me, it was good because getting them two together is how this fight's going to be made. Freddie, you talk about that killer instinct, not the same, but do you think he'll come back for a Floyd fight? Do you think that fire light under him is given how big of a fight? Uh, training him will have no problem. He'll be in the best shape of his life. We won't alter that at all. We, we won't lose any of that. Uh, if he hurts him, he could get in the way, yes. Give us an update on uh, Miguel Cotto. Well, I talked to Gabby last week. He sent me one of his fighters who's getting ready for a title eliminator who fought the Mexican Russian to a draw in his last fight. And I'm working with him right now. And my discussions with Gabby at this point are him. And when he, when he comes up with three names that we can fight, he'll give me those names and I'll give him what, who, who I like best out of those three. That's as far as I go as negotiations with them. Gabby's the guy who calls the shots. Freddie, uh, if, if Floyd d does not pick Manny, doesn't choose Manny, instead picks Cotto, would you prepare Cotto to fight, to fight Floyd again for the rematch? My first choice is Manny because we, we've been waiting for, this for so long for this. And uh, Floyd, Floyd is very highly, you know, but he's right there. I do, I do think he can fight a better fight than he did the first time. And I do think he, I do think he can win the fight. This transition from an amateur to a pro. Can you tell us a bit about that journey? He's getting better and better all the time. But sometimes the amateur does come back. Like the last fight when he told me after ten rounds, okay, I'm going to take my lead. I said no. I said he's going to knock this guy out. He said no. It's easier to take my lead and just move on and go way ahead. Any particular strengths you've seen? I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I just know how I think, you know. But he, he really is a better puncher than he's shown. He's starting to get more and more confidence in punching bar. And, you know, after that one knockout, I thought he would go a little, I thought he would go a little bit more. But he did a little bit. He is a very good puncher. He knows how to sit down in his punches now. But he, he just doesn't always do it because that amateur style come, comes back sometimes. So there's no, there's no perfection here, but he is getting better and better. Right? I mean, he's very good, he's very tough, and he's a nice guy to work with, I'll tell you that. You know, guys that work hard and train and don't fight around and make, a job and do, make my job difficult, I like these guys. You know, and there's no bullshit. We start every morning with, with total at 5 a.m. here. Every morning. I'm just a I don't like to be late, believe me. We don't like to be late. Fred, my, my last question. Um, Amir Khan has been saying he still wants to fight Manny. He told me he loved that fight. Having trained both guys, I mean, how do you feel about that matchup? And do you think it eventually happens considering they're both in the same division? Well, yeah, definitely a possibility. Um, I did pick Amir for one of the guys that could beat me with him because he left to get his athleticism and his speed. You know, I don't like the way that he fired me a little bit, so I, I do hold that against him a little bit. I mean, you know, if you drop any packet on your number one fighter and make me your number one fighter, I will go back with you. No. So then when I said no to that, all the Parkinson's and shit came out. It, it had nothing to do with that. That, that wasn't an issue. And then they made it a big issue, though. And the, I think it was a cheap shot. So I, I don't like them. I so I wouldn't I wouldn't do him any favors. <laughs> is that the same reason why you think Manny would make Floyd the same athleticism and speed? Is that the key factor that would beat Floyd? I think mean, like athleticism and speed is very, very, very important in this I think they both have a little bit of an edge in that department. But they have speed with more power. Floyd has speed, but there's not a lot of power. So, it's not just the speed, it's what, goes, what comes along with that for Pacquiao, because Pacquiao is a great puncher with a lot of speed. If you beat Floyd Fred, would that be the biggest one of your career up to this point? Yes.
Exposure I get, but they're better than me, believe me. They taught me a lot. 